help you? You could come with me. Fuck off. Have it your way. Hey champ, hope you enjoyed your victory. Your girl though, she's a feisty one. I see why you chose her, but if you want to see her ever again, I suggest you come to this address alone. And make sure you've got the prize money. Don't worry though, she bled a little, but we cleaned her up. Hey! Listen, man. Amy's. Just tell me where I need to be. I'm coming to get you. You just stay right there. And be dressed to fight. Gotcha. So is this your fault? Only indirect. Look. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you're ready when I get there. Well, You've been quiet too long. It's just. Why would he lead us right to his place? Could be a flex. No need to be subtle when you've got all the bargaining chips. Well, good luck with that. Wait, where are you going? You need to be alone in there, right? Probably not a good idea for me to go in with you. I'll be around. Sweet talk a little. Sweet talk I can do. It's open. I expected this place to be skeezier. No offense, of course. <sighs> Kidnappers tend to not keep their places so clean. Cutting right to the chase, huh? It would be nice if we could. Then hand over my money. I don't think so. If I hand over the money, then you have no reason to tell me where Amy is. She's in the building's garage. Awfully forthcoming. I just don't think you'll be going anywhere in a hurry. Just a little bit longer. I figured you'd be more talkative. Not bad. Ready for round two? Ah. Thanks. No, thank you. How's Keith? Didn't sound too good last time I checked. <sighs> what I'm getting at is you just gotta agree to some fights. We'd all make a lot more money if we all worked together. We scrape off the top of your earnings, and then you scrape off the top of the rest of us. You know, for some reason, you make a very compelling case. Glad you could see it my way. Though I noticed you didn't mention when you're gonna let Amy go. Oh, no, 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 no. She's gotta stay with us for the time being. She's our, um, our insurance policy. 
That's part of the problem. Well, we've got to have something to encourage you to actually do it. And then you hold on to her indefinitely. You convince me to fight for you a few times. And then, a few fights later, you tell me you've got even more. Since I've got no leverage, I can't complain, and I end up fighting for you as long as you want. Do you have a counterproposal? We go one on one. If you win, you can keep the money, and whenever you want, I will come work for you. But if I win, you can still keep the money, but Amy and I get left alone from here on out. I do is tap out. Enough of this. Cole, I want you. Uh, uh, Cole? Cole? Sorry. He's unconscious. Uh, I know this is fine because Troy still has a. And unconscious. Uh, um. Uh. <laughs> 